2021, we sold up and moved on to our 57 foot narrowboat with our boys, Jax and Vera. Join us on our adventures and misadventures as we cruise the UK inland waterways. Hello and welcome to another one of our vlogs. You might think we're a bit mad stood out here in rain. Well, it just shows we're prepared to go <laughs> the extra mile for our viewers, doesn't it, sweetheart? It does, yeah. You've probably noticed the keen-eyed or eagle-eyed amongst you that we're not actually at Whitley Bridge. We're currently en route to Sheffield, uh, where we may be staying for Christmas. But in today's episode, we leave Whitley Bridge en route to uh, Nottingley before branching right onto the River Air and head into the flood lock at the start of the uh, Selby Canal. Um, before we show that vlog, uh, I'd just like to thank everybody who's uh, liked, subscribed um, and watched all our previous videos. Um, it really means a lot to us, we'd just like to thank you very much. Yeah, and anybody who's new to our channel, um, if you're so inclined, it'd be nice if you would like and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, it's completely free but it helps us build our channel. Anyway, without any further ado, here's the next vlog. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just leaving Whitley Bridge. painting nice wide stretch As you can see, the Aaron Calder is very wide and offers plenty of opportunity to moor along a lot of its length.
colossal field full of solar panels. Absolutely huge. Starts level with Stubbs Bridge. Goes beyond the next bridge. One's been injured at some point, but it's, it's quite a wonky net. The other side there is the not only boat yard, but the boat that used to belong to the sobriety project back over in Old Gull, what are called the Wharfdale. I'll put a picture up. I'll put a picture up. Um, I'm going to take off the steering in a second. This is a beautiful, beautiful stretch. It's, it's, it's a gorgeous place to go through, it's not only. Oh, 
Bobby. There's the Wharfdale, used to be part of one of the Sobriety Project fleet. Been mowed here a while now. We're making the turn down there. There's more like guys fishing, unfortunately. There's the lock onto the river air. This is all new territory for us now. Hopefully we'll get some water when we get off the Selby onto the Selby Canal. A lock at Nottingley. We're ready to go onto the, uh, the river air to Selby, where we're going to moor up for the night. Hopefully, find a water point. One I'm unfamiliar with these locks. You very rarely need a window from the air and colder, but you do on this one. It's quite a short lock. But the lock landing is in <laughs> quite an awkward space. You have to pull past it and then reverse back onto it. This should be fun. Not in the lock. About 45 minutes after we arrived. We've lost our windlass and it seems that the boat yard at Not Inley is not actually a boat yard, it's just a yard full of boats. No chandlery, no workshop, no nothing. Just about to give up, turn round and head into Not Inley and, and plan our next move when this lovely couple in this cruiser came up the lock and they have agreed to lock us through and let us out the other end and I'll suss out what we're going to do when we get to Selby as for getting off the river but at least we're going to get moving and that's the main thing A leaky old lock There and that, if you're not careful, can flood your boat. Wow. That's a leak at half. These two ladies are absolutely unbelievable. I feel guilty being on the boat, leaving them to it, but... I've no option. Pleasure that you're still in locks on the boat. And it's a bit of an awkward one to get out of as well as this. Thank you to Jan and Adam. We've got through that lock. But I've been stuck without them. What a beautiful day to be messing about on the water. I've fished the river air in a few various places throughout my adult life. It's not until you actually get on it on a boat that you realise quite how wide it is. Not massively wide, but wider than you think. But how beautiful it is as well. a beautiful day to do this trip and the water was flat calm. We felt so blessed to be living this life.
pulley system there. Goes across the river. So an engine room there. Probably got a drive wheel in it. See what that is. So we're under Beale Bridge. Any amount of debris on it from the last high tides or the highest tides. There's the weir to the left. There's the moorings just in front of us. Another lock. And hopefully the water point's more accessible here if there actually is one. Look at this beautiful tree-lined area. I wonder if there's an overnight moor in here, because this will do us if there is. So this is where we mowed last night. This is the lock entrance to the lock at Beale. Or water point. Lock landing. Look at this for a location. Absolutely stunning. Awesome on the water. I think. There's the mooring, there's the lock landing. There was another boat last night, uh, sort of a hybrid motor cruiser, some speed boat, sort of set up with a lovely couple, Andrew and Fiona, who lent us their spare, spare windlass. <coughs> and we'll be dropping it off on our way back from Ripon at the marina in Borough Bridge where they're at. Kindness of strangers is unbelievable. What a life. Just sitting into Beale Lock now. One of the most beautiful moorings we've seen so far. Definitely be stopping here on the way back if there's room. This gate's really, really stiff. She's done really well there, is Les. That was a workout for your kid.
stretch of the river area is like Silverstone. some idea how shallow the water can be on the inside of the bend. today. This is the approach to Selby Lock. Selby Lock. Looking at that. Palmer getting a bit of fresh air. Kept opening his wings up as we were coming closer. from Selby Floodlock back down the river area where we've come or where we came look at this we're from this area so we're quite biased well not this area not North Yorkshire we're from East Yorkshire but been around Selby and what have you quite a lot. Restaurants and shopping. But you can see why people like Robbie come in. Narrowboat Will. Made him a list. Wax lyrical about this, about Yorkshire and the canal system. I'm sure all canal systems are beautiful. We've yet to find out for ourselves the full extent. But Yorkshire on a sunny day. He's just jaw dropping. And I make no apologies for that statement. So he's just going to take us through Selby Floodlock. Now the corner and onto the Selby Canal. Can't wait. Fished it, walked it, never been down it on a narrow. This is Leslie taking us through the floodlock. The first time through a lock. A little bit different because this one's kept open unless it needs to be closed.
the guy on the kayak there must have owned the lady on the kayak, I don't know which face the guy must have heard us with the horn, which is good. It's a little bit of plastic in a 17 ton chunk of metal doesn't work all together. I just realised I was filming the, this guy there. Well done Les. I'll pan back then we can get that smile in. <laughs> so this is me watching him watching me. Coming down for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> 